Welcome to part three of Link to the Past, the video game stoner. Um, I've actually tried to shoot this video before, and it went really badly. Um, the quality settings were too high, and the video got extremely messed up. Then I tried to make a Binding of Isaac video, and the same thing happened. So. Wow. We're um, jumping back to Top of Spectacle Rock because we're going to do the Death Mountain Descent for lulls. And you may or may not have heard of this glitch. Motherfucker Mike recently made a really good post about it. I'm going to do my best to pull it off. You warp here and then you just you step ever so... It's really tricky. And uh, it might take me a couple tries. But I pulled this off twice already, and it didn't take me too many tries, so I think this will do it. You step over just a little bit, so you're further over than you could have gotten. And you know it works because you can see the warp is a little bit touching the bridge. It's like overlapping the bridge a little bit. And you can get up top of here and jump down. And this blows my fucking mind. It's been 20 years since this game came out and I'm still discovering new and awesome things. And that's how you get to this part of uh, the Dark World before you even fight Aghanim. We haven't even fought Aghanim yet. Hilarious, huh? You can get heart containers, you can get the magic cape, we're gonna do that. magic cape here and that's also a tricky kind of way you can get in here sooner <laughs> and this ain't a joke the magic cape it makes you invulnerable you can walk through all kinds of stuff it's really a pretty potent thing to have this early in the game So I think, if I'm not horribly mistaken, we'll never even have to fight Aghanim or go through Hyrule Castle. And there's no reason to. There's no items. There's nothing there. Tenth heart before beating Aghanim or going. It's just very funny to me. And to keep things funny, to keep things amusing and entertaining, I think I actually am going to go fight the third dungeon first. The Skull Palace or whatever, where the Lost Worlds coincide in the Light World. Because, hey, Fire Rod. Fire Rod's cool. So yeah, with the Death Mountain drop, you actually can get to the Dark World without the Master Sword. And you can complete the game without the Master Sword. It's pretty funny. I kind of wish you got the first armor upgrade, the blue mail, a little earlier than Palace 5, because that ice palace is kind of tough. And the only way to get through it easy, because there's a really tricky puzzle I've never entirely figured out, is to get the treasure from Palace number 6, Misery Mire. And I think you need the Titan's Mitt anyway to get through Palace 5. You definitely need it to get through Misery Mire because you can't even get inside without it. 
You guys wanna drop me some hearts? Jesus. Game's a little cross with me, I guess, for... Nice! Good luck. Very nice. So the trick with this is to... Go all the way to the end, basically. Where is that dam? Can I not get to the... I need access to that area over there. How do I get over there? Huh. I don't think you can get there from this entrance. That's fine. We'll just curve down and around. Although I think it's possible, the only way to get the heart from the tree trunk that uh, those two lumberjack dudes are cutting down is to beat Aghanim. Could be wrong. We'll find out. I'm just, we're having some fun this time. Fucking off. That's cool. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so you skip all of this. Because the first thing you need is the big key. Naturally. Gosh, these guys. Wow, that was actually kind of slick. Okay, so we move this dude. We look out for the hands. Because they will reset your shit and they suck. So you just let go when he's going to come down after you. That's the way to handle him. Actually, I could just use the mirror, but whatever. Oh, shit. Okay. I hope you can hear okay without it being overwhelming. And then, we come here, and we're going to see if we can pull off the, the bomb jump. Oops. Try not to do that too many times. Damn. This is why we have fairies. Damn it. There's nothing really telling you when to stop, so you just kind of have to try. And I could be wrong. Nice, did it. Too hard, I guess. And that's the cheap and easy way of getting through Dungeon 3. You see, as you can see, you, it's totally doable without any tool assistance. You don't need, uh, you know, frame skip or any shit like that. You don't need save states to pull it off. 
it's fairly doable just regularly playing the game. Get this key. And you don't use it for what they wanted you to use it for. You cheat. <laughs> Dungeon 3, basically, my point is, Dungeon 3 is totally broken. Broke that shit. It's pretty fucked up. You don't go down there, just go through here. Shit. There's probably some slick way of getting through here, but... I am not the slickest ever. Obviously. Guess we didn't really need to do that. But, you know, there you have it. Whatever. I guess it was bound to happen sooner or later. Yep. Oh well. So what's the deal? I still have the fire rod. I ain't got no more fairies. Pretty bogus. What do you think? Should I just come back later? I might do that. corresponds to in the light world. Let's see. Be interesting to see. Nowhere in the light world. How about here? Oh, here we go. Oh, I see. What can I tell you guys? Epic fail happens. I'm trying to remember where the hell there are some damn fairies around here, too. 
drawing a blank. No, that's just a friggin' blue rupee. Closest fairies I can remember are by Link's house. So I haven't done this uh, before, really. Um, I just figured out how to do the Death Mountain Descent, which is really cool because, hey, I've been playing this game for 20 years and still manages to have some surprises in it and cool new things to discover and etc. etc. Um, but it doesn't break the game as completely as I sort of hoped it might, to be honest. Um, because you need the hammer to get to the treasure of the dungeon in the Village of Outcasts, which is the Titan's Mint, which if you could get that, that would totally break the game. Absolutely. It would be really hilarious. But, unfortunately, no. You do have to go and do the Dungeon of Power properly. I'm just going to come back here when I have the blue mail, I think, probably. I don't need to go there. Shit, where the hell am I? Oh, I know where I need to go. I need to go in here. Duh. Here we go. Would you believe me if I said I actually wasn't as high right now as I was last time? I said I wouldn't be. Which is why I didn't do the video yesterday. Because yesterday, I was... Completely trash. Um, I guess we still have white cap. I don't know. It's insane. Pretty damn hard to keep track of anything. White cap action. One hit shit, as they say. Yeah. Who's your daddy? Is he rich like me? <laughs> Oops. So then, um, I tend to come to the village of outcasts to get money. I just get money and, uh, oh, there's a heart here too. Um, piece of heart. Shit tons of money! any fucking thieves. I hate thieves in this game so much. Best thing to do is to know where they are and know how to avoid them. Hey, what's up? I just slid right past you. This guy 
it is usually so easy. I have the easiest time with this guy. It usually doesn't take any more than two or three tries. And you don't want to have too many rupees when you come to him because he'll give you shit tons. Oh, this is so weird. I almost this. I, those are always the two treasure chests that I've always went after. There, it's, the, the luck is getting a little better. I've never had such bad luck, which isn't even that big of a deal, you know. There it is. Now there's nothing else you can do here because the only thing south of here is um, the blacksmith and the digging treasure field heart. And you can't get over there without the titan's mint. Not from here. So we're just gonna go this way. Go get the ether medallion. Because we can. So once you jump down here, you cannot get back over there without doing the Death Mountain Descent again or beating Aghanim. So you just kind of have to like deal with that fact, basically. Luckily, it's not too hard to get over here and get the Ether Medallion. You throw the rock in the circle of stones. And he comes up and he gives you the Ether Medallion, so you leave him alone. Uh... I think he'll come up if you throw more stuff in there, but he'll just be like, go away. Nothing else really happens here. Pretty much just get the Ether Medallion, which you do need to get into Miser and Mire. There's no other way to do that. Uh, next step, we'll get a piece of heart from the Pyramid. to the wishing island and get more bombs and arrows and I'm actually going to I think I'm going to end this video while I uh, do that because otherwise you guys will be sitting here for like I don't even know how long watching me throwing rupees into this wishing well, basically. So join us next time for the Palace of Power and, I'm sorry, the Palace of Darkness and probably some other stuff. Um, leave some comments, let me know what you like about the videos, what you don't like about the videos, whatever.